Yo, what's good on today's video? I'm about to show you guys how to make a teleporter via GUI buttons and stuff. I apologize if I sound like irritated or weird weird in general and stuff. My head is fucking killing me, but I wanted to record this video and and make sure y'all got two videos dropping today. But anyway, let's get straight into it though. So we go head on over to start a GUI and insert a screen GUI. We'll call this our teleport GUI. Then we will insert a text button, drag it down here, call it our teleport button. Oh, teleport button, right? We can do some basic customization, you know what I mean? Make it red, feel me? Best color, but it don't matter. Anyway, click to teleport, right? Scale and make the text rich, then we can change the font to, I don't know. Something nice, looks cool, looks cool. Anyway, we're gonna put a local script here and we'll call this our teleport script. Now, there's two ways you could really, there's two ways you could really do this, right? The one way is you can use the remote event by using a local script and then, and by using a local script to then send over the player to a service script and service script service and have this script handle all the teleports or you could have one or you could have a service script inside of each teleport button me personally i would recommend doing this method because it like it makes it so one script in service script service is handling all of the teleports which in my opinion is just better because it, it like it's easier to keep up with one script te that teleports people rather than like having like six or five or however many but anyway we'll call this our teleport handler script right and what we'll do is we need a remote event of course let's go ahead and insert a remote event replicated storage and call this of course our teleport event right then let's delete this do local teleport event is equal to game that replicated storage that teleport event then let's do let's get our local player actually local player is equal to game that players that local player enter twice then we'll do script dot parent that must one click connect function right close parentheses enter then we'll do teleport event fire server and we'll send over the play. Well, actually, you know, like it actually matters. Actually, actually, no, it doesn't even matter. I think about it. It doesn't even matter because it automatically will have it. But anyway, so yeah, we can do fire server, right? Then we can go over here. We can copy this by selecting it and doing control C, then paste over this by clicking control V, control and V, I should say. Then do teleport event dot on server event connect function in parentheses put PLR, which is short for player, then enter, right? Then we can come up here, press enter again, then get the, t the teleport service or local TPS. Local TPS is equal to game, get service, teleport service. Then we can do, come down here and do TPS is equal to teleport. Now you guys could do, you, you could do, um, what's it called? Teleport or teleport async. Now, um, now as for which one I personally do, um, I usually just do teleport. I mean, I, I don't really see a difference. If there's a difference, someone can let me know in the comments, but I don't really see a difference. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get my place ID. If you guys don't know how to get your place ID, I got y'all. Click view. Look, click asset manager. I'm not sure if you guys can. Okay, you guys can see that's manager. All right. Then click place it, places. Sorry, places. Right. Then right click and click copy ID to clipboard and boom. Just like that. Then go in here, put your ID. Oh, sorry, not here. Go in here, put your ID. Then the player you want to teleport. Boom, PLR, and boom. Just like that, you have made yourself a teleport button. Now, y'all already know the deal. Well, if you don't know the deal, then I'll, I'll let you know. You cannot teleport within Studio. Don't try to test the teleport inside Studio. You have to actually go inside the actual published game. I just realized I did not publish the game. Let me go ahead and publish it. And then let me create a, let me, I'm going to join the game. So in about a second, I am about to switch my screen over for you guys to see. I'm going to join my place. 
and then show you guys the teleport. Okay, let me switch my screen. Okay, there we go. Right, there we go. So, I can do click to teleport. If I left click, wait a second, and boom. We have teleported to my second place. As I can see, it's a different base play. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, that's how you make a teleport. That right there is how you make a teleport button. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, help me get to 360 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys.